مصر يتعمل فيها كده بالله عليك دي مصر دي مصر دي مصر Egypt joined Saudi Arabia, Bahrain and the UAE in cutting ties with Qatar earlier this month. The move came as President Sisi's government seems to be fending off criticism at home. So let's look at what's happening in Egypt. The government has shut down 64 websites in the last two weeks, including Al Jazeera, The Huffington Post Arabic, Egypt Daily News and Daily Sabah. You're probably thinking why? Well, Egypt says these publications are affiliated with the Muslim Brotherhood and support terrorism. But are 64 websites really all supporting the Brotherhood and terrorism? It's no surprise, but it's unprecedented in the type of uh, news outlets that have been blocked. Uh, you have Mada Masra and Al Bursa, which are two independently financed and uh, news organizations have been closed down. But some of the crackdowns on the independent news agencies are worrying for Egyptian civil society and worrying for Egyptian media in general. Cairo has just finalized a deal with Saudi Arabia to give away the two Red Sea islands of Tehran and Sanafir. In return, Riyadh has invested billions worth of infrastructure investments agreed upon in 2016. Former Egyptian President Nasser had spoken about the importance of the two islands. <laughs> حقنا سنباشر مياهنا الإقليمية سنباشر حقوقنا عليها. But the government claims the islands are of no strategic importance and insists that the islands are Saudi land. Many Egyptians disagree, protesting against what they see as the regime selling Egypt sovereignty. Protest action includes graffiti tags like CC the traitor sprayed across the streets of Cairo. However, street art was censored by the Egyptian state and has tried to shut down a popular Ramadan TV series that accidentally aired footage of a wall which had the words, Sisi is a traitor, written on it. Over the last few months, attacks against Coptic Christians have increased. Daesh has targeted Coptic Christians in three major attacks this year alone. The government has come under fire for failing to protect civilian life. Meanwhile, Cairo struggles to contain a four-year-long insurgency in the Sinai Peninsula. Human rights has become a key issue as a result of the security crackdown carried out by the Sisi government. President Abdel Fattah Sisi and his government has cracked down quite uh, aggressively on civil rights groups and freedom of speech and free media across Egypt. There are estimates that there are up to 40,000 political prisoners currently serving in Egyptian jails. Many of them come from Islamist groups such as, the, such as the Muslim Brotherhood, but many others also come from secular, liberal and uh, left-wing groups across Egypt. The security crisis has heavily impacted tourism, once a thriving industry in Egypt. In 2010, tourism accounted for nearly 13% of GDP, with 14 million tourist arrivals. Today, it's plummeted significantly with less than 2 million tourist arrivals in Egypt in 2017. The regime has also chosen to take a $12 billion IMF loan, meaning that Egypt has had to deflate its currency and cut subsidies. The results have been catastrophic. Inflation has hit the economy hard, and basic necessities like bread have become unaffordable for many. So as Egypt sinks deeper into censorship, insecurity and poverty, how long will Sisi manage to hold on to power? <laughs> <laughs>